हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मीन बाय डायरेक्ट मेथड इन ऑल थ्री सीरीज इंडिविजुअल सीरीज डिस्क्रीट सीरीज एंड कंटीन्यूअस सीरीज फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मीन बाय डायरेक्ट मेथड इन इंडिविजुअल सीरीज एंड फार्मूला ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग मीन बाय डायरेक्ट मेथड इन इंडिविजुअल सीरीज इज x बार इक्वल टू सिग्मा x ओवर n हियर x बार रिप्रेजेंट आवर मीन एंड दिस इज इंडिविजुअल सीरीज इन फर्स्ट column name of students are given in second column marks obtained by all students are given but how can we identify this is individual series because it represent individual marks of student frequencies are not given here for example this 30 marks is obtained by ram only this 40 marks is obtained by mohan only this 27 marks is obtained by renu only but in case of frequencies it will be written as 6 uh, marks is obtained by 30 students 7 marks is obtained by 40 a student and 27 marks is obtained by five student but here frequencies are not given it represent individual marks of student because this is individual series and formula of calculating mean by direct method in individual series is x bar equal to sigma x over n according to this formula we require sigma x and n and uh, marks represent by x and sum total of marks that is obtained by all students is equal to sigma x and total number of student student is equal to n so value of sigma x is 217 and value of n is 7 217 over 7 is equal to 31 this 31 is our x bar means this 31 is our mean now we are going to talk about how to calculate mean by direct method in discrete series and formula of calculating mean by direct method in discrete series is x bar equal to sigma f x over n, or we can say the sigma f x over sigma f means n and sigma f both are same. Don't be confused. Okay, so this is a discrete series. In first column, marks of student are given. In second column, number of students are given. But how can we identify this is a discrete series? Because frequencies are given here. Number of student represent our frequency, or we can say number of student represent our f. Here frequencies are given like five student go ten marks. 10 student go 20 marks 40 student go 30 marks and so on so in first column marks of student are given which is represent by x in second column number of student are given which is represent by f now we have to calculate mean by direct method and formula of calculating mean by direct method in discrete series is this according to this formula we require sigma fx and sigma f so firstly we will calculate fx in order to calculate fx we will multiply x with f means we will multiply 10 with 5 20 with 10 30 with 40 and so on so when we multiply x with f we will got all these values and sum total of all these value will equal to sigma fx and sigma fx is equal to 3500 and when we add number of student it will be equal to sigma f or we can say that it will be equal to n as we earlier discussed sigma f or n both are same so now we will put value of sigma f and sigma f in this formula A value of sigma fx is 3500 and value of sigma f is 100 3500 over 100 is equal to 35 this 35 is our x bar or we can say 35 is our mean Now we are going to talk about mean by direct method in continuous series. Formula of calculating mean by direct method in continuous series is x bar equal to sigma f m over n, or we can say sigma f m over sigma f n or sigma f both are same as we earlier discussed. So this is continuous series. In first column marks of student are given. In second column number of students are given. Marks of student are represent by x and number of student are represent by f. But how can we we know this is continuous series we can basically identify continuous series by class interval class interval like 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 12 12 to 16 if these kind of class interval are given mean this is continuous series so in first column marks of student are given in second column number of student are given now we need to calculate mean in order to calculate mean first of all we need to calculate midpoint from this class interval but how we can calculate midpoint from this class interval in order to 
calculate midpoint from this class interval we need to use one formula m is equal to l1 plus l2 divided by 2 m is midpoint l1 is lower limit l2 is upper limit so in first case 0 is a lower limit and 4 is upper limit 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 and 4 is divided by 2 that is equal to 2 in second case lower limit is 4 and upper limit is 8 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 and 12 is divided by 2 that is equal to 6 in third case uh, uh, lower limit is 8 and upper limit is 12 12 plus 8 is equal to 20 and 20 is divided by 2 that is equal to 10 in third case lower limit is 12 and upper limit is 16 12 plus 16 equal to 28 28 divided by 2 that is equal to 14 so we go to value of midpoint after calculating midpoint from all this class interval, we need to find out Fm because according to this formula, we required sigma Fm. So, here number of students represent by F and midpoint represent by M. When we multiply F with M, it will equal to Fm. So, 4 multiplied with 2 is equal to 8. 8 multiplied 6 with equal to 48. 2 multiplied with 10 is equal to 20. 1 multiplied with 14 is equal to 14. And sum total of all value of Fm is equal to sigma Fm. And value of sigma Fm is 19. And number of student is equal to Fm or we can say the total number of student is equal to N. Please don't confuse as we earlier discussed sigma f or n both are same. Now we put value of sigma f and sigma fm in this formula. Value of sigma fm is 19 and value of sigma f is 15. 90 over 15 is equal to 6. 6 is our mean or we can say that 6 is our x bar. And this is all about uh, how to find mean by direct method in all these th uh, series, uh, individual series, uh, continuous series uh, and discrete series. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.